Hello Internet, my name is Joshua and I plan to teach you how to code with Java and Kotlin. About this question of, given a year, which turn the century it is in, the first century spans from the year 1 up to the including year 100, the second from the year 101 and the including the year 200 and etc. You can see some examples here, I'll include a link to this question in the description below. Uh, let's get right to it, um, let's see here. So let's see some examples. Okay, this is an example. If it's 1905, it should be 20. If it's 1700, it should still be 17. Okay, so how would I do that? So the inputs will be a year. The year is an int. And the output is supposed to be an int 2. And that should be the century it's inside. The goal is to return a century. All right, I should have. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any of these questions on on code signals, so <laughs> I'm kind of doing this impromptu. Oh, I forgot to mention why should why do we want to know this? Like, um, why would your school or class or code interview you you code interviewer? Oh, can't think right now. Ask you this question. Well, let me give you some background. The future going is going so fast, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, and all those fancy smart people are creating so much technology at a fast pace that who knows, we might have a time machine, like in that movie, The Time Machine! And so, the, um, the plot of the movie is that, you know, the guy is trying to find a way to save the love of his life, but since he cannot round up his numbers, he ended up in the wrong time of future where, well... What should say the apocalypse is happening? The moon is breaking. So to prevent something like that, we should code a solution to solve this problem. Now let's see how to do this. First, it's here. Huh. Well, what we can do, let's see, in century when initialized I mean declared a variable in century. Um how will century be calculated? So it seems like, let's see, huh, 1905, 1700, how would I go about it? Well, first, I mean, I know that we might need to divide it by 100. Interesting. So let's see here if it's, okay. Hmm. I think, let's see, so let me go off on a hunch, a century, we can't just do this, because I know that we can't just do century equals year divided by 100, I mean, I know that you can calculate centuries by, every century is 100 years, but if you do that, we're going to have some issues, because, well, let's find out, let's run the test, <coughs> excuse me, I have a cough today. All right, so we have something like 1905. It'd be 20, oh, but some are passing because if it's 1700, it's correct. Interesting. So if we do a year minus one, because I know that, you know, it's going, it's kind of sensitive to that one. Let's see what happens. If it's year minus one divided by 100, because since we're kind of like rounding up, would that work too? Let's try. Oh my god. That's that worked! Holy cow guys! I don't know if this is the right answer. Okay, by the way, um, it's good practice that if there's a chance that you could shorten your code and refactor it to make it work, um, take the opportunity to do so. Like including these references can um, take up memory and that might uh, slow down how your um, application processes um, processes any functionality or anything like that. So what we want to do is remove um, all the such possibilities like that and see if it still runs. Um, sometimes we could try to make it like a single line code like this. And um, with, we could include some documentation comments. Documentation comments looks like this guys. So it almost looks like, almost looks like um, a multi-line multi-line um, comments except it has this noted um, some 
Java compilers, um, some, some Java tools will have a way to externally document this stuff. And you can just say like, you know, how is this calculated? This formula rounds up the year, that rounds out to the nearest century. Um, and you can include some more descriptions to that, but for the sake of time, I think you guys can understand why. Because see, I did subtract by one because there might be cases, um, since it starts from year one to 100, um, I made it more acquainted that if I subtract by one, that when it still rounds up, when adding one, like it, as I did right here, it will still get the correct um, century like that. Um, if I'm unclear, just add it in the comments. I'm still trying to prove the way I present um, information like this, and I'd appreciate that. Well, let's see if it actually passes all um, test codes and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, usually in documentation quotes, you have to include the inputs and outputs. So sometimes it's like at input, oh shoot, at input, and then you just describe why here, and at return, what does it return, why does it return it, stuff like that. Oh, I promise you guys that I do this in Kotlin, so let me see if I can do this. Now I could do the same thing, I could include a variable, and century equals something, something, something. But again, um, we're going to take advantage of Kotlin's single line function um, feature where you could just return just a single line itself. It makes it easier to read. What was it again? Year minus one divided by 100 plus one. Let's see if that works. Again, it has inference that it will return an integer value because it's right here. That's one of the features of Kotlin that makes it so beautiful and why the industry is loving it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, excuse me. Hot diggity dang. If I submit it, it should be fine. And I'm sure it will. Holy cow, guys. I think I'm on a roll today. I am on a roll today. Anyways, if you have any questions, please like and subscribe. Yep, it passed. Okay, if you have any questions, please like and subscribe. Because if you do... Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> if you do... I'll give you the DeLorean, or in other words, a time machine traveling car from the movie Back to the Future. It'll be right outside your back lot, ready to roll down the road at 40 miles per hour and travel to wherever you like. Because now I can calculate the century that you want to be in. And um, yeah, just like and subscribe, and I promise you, I would not just add one, but two of these cars, one from the past, one from the future, and you can drive it all the way you want. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching my video. If there's any way you could, um, if there's any questions or any way that you suggest to help me improve my presentational skills, um, I'm open to critiques and stuff like that. I just want to be a better person for you and for me. Anyways, take care guys. See ya.